Okay, first of all, we copy and paste all the information that provide by the questions. And from here, you can see that from node O to node A, there is a capacity part. And there is the same goes for the other part. And from the questions, we have 6 nodes. All A, B, C, D, E, T. The departures is all and the destination is T. And now we use the sum if information, sum if functions to calculate the net flow for the departure node. So we choose the from columns, comma, the not all, comma, and the flow column. And for A, B, C, D, E, the formula is the same as we use also the sum if function, then select the from columns, comma, the cells, comma, and the row, and then minus the sum if from two columns, comma, the cells, comma, and the row. So this is the formula. And then since the formula is same for other nodes A, B, C, D, E, so we fix the value using the dollar symbols. And then drag down. So for the destination node, the formula is something two columns, comma, cells, comma, and four columns. So we will get zero first because we have no value in the four columns. And now we equals the net flow to the supply demand which is zero. Okay, then we set the formula for the maximum flow is equal to the net flow for the this departure node. Okay, so now we go to the data and click the slope. We set the objective as maximum flow and choose the maximize. The changing variables is the raw column and we add the constraint we have two constraints the first constraint is the raw is smaller or equal to the capacity and another is the net flow is equal to the supply demand And then we choose the simplex LP method to solve the problems. Okay, so now we get the final values, final answer of 14.